uh, some someone, someone in uh, in Scotland has uh, decided to spray paint uh, one of the Queen's properties, as you can, <laughs> as you can, as you can see. I'm sorry, destruction of private property is not funny. Uh, as you can see here, uh, someone has wrote "pedo home." Uh, on the Queen, one of the Queen's properties. Uh, appalling uh, Scottish uh, home targeted with pedo, pedo graffiti as cops hunt vandals. Police are investigating after a vandal graffitied pedo home on the walls outside of the Queen's Scottish residence. The outer walls of the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh were pictured yesterday morning spray painted with graffiti. Um, cops are investigating. <laughs> Yeah, never unless the old Abbey and everything next to it as well. Burn Tory scum. There we go. There's a, there's another one as well. Uh, one image shows pedo home uh, sprayed in large white letters along one wall, while the palace can be seen in the background. Another image shows the words "Burn Tory scum" written along the same wall in similar style. The graffiti comes just days after a U.S. court ruled that Virginia Giuffre, who claims that Prince Andrew abused her when she was 17, could proceed with legal action against him. Prince Andrew has strongly denied the claims. Uh, Buckingham Palace has released a statement on Thursday saying that the Duke of York uh, would be re would be returning his military titles and royal patronages back to the Queen. He's basically, when it comes to the royal family, he is now, it seems, complete persona non grata. Uh, Rory Richmond, a law student from Glasgow, posted a photo on Twitter yesterday of the graffiti aimed at Conservatives. Uh, he wrote, this was photographed at Holyrood House in Edinburgh earlier today, we must condemn and confront the mindless acts of vandalism and hatred. The tweet has received over 200 likes and has had dozens of comments and retweets. Social media users were outraged by the graffiti. Uh, Civic enjoys Scottish nationalism writ large, uh, appalling vandalism. There's no excuse for it at all. It's criminality, whether or not it suits your political party of choice. I really do hope the one who did this is caught and dealt with. Uh, the Pratt's, the Pratt's shit in their own nest. Uh, education will help these clowns. However, a lot of people were uh, were uh, supporting the graffiti and everything like that as well uh, because of the underlying uh, message. Uh, not the burn Tory scum part. Uh, the other part, the people who... Uh, the, the, the thing that's the problem, though, is uh, since what Prince Andrew did was in the UK, the legal age of consent here is 16, so technically he's not. However, however, I don't think Virginia was the only one. But anyway, but anyway, I mean, if you spend that much time hanging out with Epstein, it wasn't just one. It wasn't just one. Um, but uh, as for, you know, damaging private property and stuff like that, like, I know even if you're angry and all that type of stuff, like, private property, like, no, I, I, can't, I can't encourage or condone a destruction of private property. Uh, a Police Scotland spokesperson said today, uh, police received a report of vandalism on the external wall at the Palace of Holyrood House in Edinburgh, which happened between 4pm on Saturday the 15th of January and 8am on Sunday the 16th of January 2022. Inquiries are ongoing and anyone with information should contact police via 101, quoting incident number 1071 of 16th January. And uh, that is the end of the story. <laughs> now, uh, I get it now. <laughs> I will say, I d again, I don't condone uh, vandalism or damage to private property, but that's, <laughs> that's kind of funny. 